Uh, my name is Maria Champa. I was born in the North Shore of Boston. I grew up in Beverly, and I come from a family of seven kids, and I'm the fifth of seven, and I have three older sisters, an older brother, and two younger sisters, and uh, I think that's how I started doing comedy. Just basically, I was like, what can I do to get attention? My first job out of college was I was um, a writer. I was a case writer at Harvard Business School, and when you work there, you know, you can take classes for like 40 bucks. So I took a, an acting class, and I'd always been into acting, um, but I'd never really done it seriously. And every scene that I did, especially when I improvised, the <laughs> director would just start cracking up. And she's like, Maria, the straight acting isn't right for you. You have to do improv. You have to do comedy. And so that's when I started taking classes here, actually, at Improv Boston and at Improv Asylum. And then I joined um, the main stage of Improv Asylum, and I started doing open mics all over Boston. I'll say about improv, it's obviously just more about collaboration and trust and fun so in that way it can be more fun but then stand-up can also be equally as good a time because you've worked really hard and it's your own thing and you're, I think you're showing more of yourself so there's different ways to be satisfied from you know with both. I don't know about misconceptions but they definitely have preconceived notions like people in offices are like wow comedy huh you know and like they're like well tell me a joke I definitely am not a person where I need all the attention like even with my family at this point like a family gathering I'm silent I just watch everyone because the material writes itself a lot of people talk about oh when you're gonna move to New York when are you going to move to L.A.? Uh, I really like it here. I grew up here. My family's here. If something, you know, takes me away to New York or L.A., I'm all for it. Uh, but I don't feel like uh, moving there will make a huge difference in my career. And I feel like I'm still honing the craft. I don't know if anyone ever feels like they'll stop honing the craft, but especially with stand-up, I feel like Boston is just a wonderfully safe place to kind of keep learning and experimenting and growing. So I'm really happy to be here. A few years ago, my friend Michelle Barbera, who is an amazing um, improv comedian, she owns her own uh, production company, she makes short films, um, she just was like, oh Maria, we should do a whole weekend of shows where we just have you know, female comedians and you know, just do that. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea, let's do it. And that's literally how it started. Now we're in our third year and so it's just basically been growing. Last year we had Edie McClurg from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and she happened to be in the improv group of the All Girl Review, which just kind of basically approached us. And these are women who are like our comedy idols. It's kind of just caught on. It's March 9th to 13th, 2011. And it's at three venues. It's here at Improv Boston, Motley's Comedy Club in Faneuil Hall, and the Brattle Theater in Harvard Square. My experience as a woman in comedy has been pretty positive. The way I look at it is not, oh, you know, I'm, I don't have the same privileges, it's so hard for me. Like, if I looked at it that way, it would just undermine all my efforts. So I look at it as, I see a lot of these funny people out there and working, but I, I don't see them um, getting the attention that I think they should, because I think they're really hilarious. So that's why I want to do this festival. I once had, I think, what was a very well-meaning homeless man in an audience who kept laughing at my setups. And like, you wouldn't think that laughing would be heckling, but it just, obviously, like, you're just setting up the jokes. You haven't said anything funny yet, but someone's laughing. And it almost feels taunting. And, and, you know, in that situation, all you can do is just play with it and have fun, because I don't think he was trying to mess me up. It was, you know, so literally I was like, hey, I don't even have to write punchlines, or whatever, you know, I said. It's, you know, I diffused it in a nice way. You know, if there is one difference that I have noticed between male and female comedians maybe it's there I think it's the tendency of a lot of lady comedians to just be like hey what's going on here and kind of be a little more calm about a heckler whereas you know a dude most dudes that I've seen unless they're very seasoned most dudes are kind of angry like they're so mad that this person is cutting into their time and they have all this planned that, and they, they just get angry and it kind of derails the show because you know you don't want to seem like a mean person Last year at the Women in Comedy Festival, um, Jackie Cation and Maria Bamford were the headliners, and I opened for them, which was great. Uh, that's what happens when you produce your own show. <laughs> you get to open. Um, and this year, um, we have uh, Jen Kirkman and Morgan Murphy. Jen Kirkman has been a huge influence on my stand-up comedy. So, like, I've actually got to open already for people that I love. I have a weekly show here every Sunday night at 9 p.m. that I host and co-produce with uh, Dana J. Bine. Um, my website is my name, mariachampa.com, and my last name is spelled C-I-A-M-P-A. -A. Um, and also you can check out the womenincomedyfestival.com website, and that's just basically at Women in Comedy Festival.